The parabolic equation can be used to define a vertical curve. A vertical curve is used to provide a smooth transition from one grade to the next. A vertical curve is stationed along the horizontal axis. There are two primary types of curves, a crest curve and a sag curve. A crest curve has a concave down shape and a sag curve has a concave up shape. For each type of curve, half the length of the curve is on each side of the PVI. So for a symmetric parabolic curve, the PVI will always be halfway between the PVC and the PVT. The PVI is the point of vertical intersection. This is where the two grades intersect. The PVC is the point of vertical curvature. This is where the roadway leaves the entrance grade and begins to curve, providing that smooth transition from one grade to the next. The PVT is the point of vertical tangency. This is where the curve ends and the roadway returns to the exit grade. For our equations with the parabolic equation, we are going to use the terms x and y, where x denotes the distance from the PVC in meters, and where y is the elevation of the point on the curve, also in meters. We will use the entrance grade, G1, and exit grade, G2. These will be input into our parabolic equation in decimal form, as well as the stationing distances along the stationing axis, which are always measured horizontally. These will be input in meters into the parabolic equation. In general, the parabolic equation follows this shape, defined by the equation y equals ax squared plus bx plus c, where a and b are constants and can be positive or negative, and c is the y-intercept, where the parabola crosses the y-axis. In our case, this is going to be the PVC elevation. And again, the parabolic equation can either be concave down, as shown, or concave up, which would be a sag curve. As we start to modify the parabolic equation for our particular vertical curve, we again need to remember that in the metric system, grades are going to be in decimal form. So G1 and G2 will be in decimal form, and lengths will be in meters. So we're going to turn y equals ax squared plus bx plus c into a specific equation for our particular curve. Again, where the y is the elevation on the curve at a distance x from the PVC, x is the horizontal distance along the stationing axis from the PVC. a is g2 minus g1 divided by 2 times l. b is g1, and c is the PVC elevation. Looking at this as an example, we see the top image shows us the street level view with four points labeled 1, 2, 3, and 4. And on the bottom, we can see the profile view, which shows us the vertical alignment in those same points, 1, 2, 3, and 4. We see that the, the roadway between 1 and 2 is a tangent section, so a consistent grade, as well as the section from 3 to 4. Our vertical curve occurs from 2 to 3, and this is a sag vertical curve. We do have some values for these particular points on this curve. The actual length of the curve is 260 meters, and again, that is measured horizontally. Our entrance grade, G1, is negative 4.2%, and our exit grade, G2, is 3%. The place where our grades come together is the PVI, and the elevation at that point is 135 meters. And our elevation at the PVC, which is 0.2, on this image is 140.46 meters. To develop our parabolic equation, we need to determine the characteristics A, B, and C, and then we can define our overall parabolic equation for this particular curve. And again, grades should be in decimal form and lengths in meters. 
So A equals G2 minus G1 divided by 2 times L, which would be 0 0.03 minus negative 0 0.042 divided by 2 times 260 meters gives us an A of 0 0.000138. B is just G1, so that will be negative 0 0.042 and C is the PVC elevation, which is 140.46 meters. Therefore, our parabolic equation for this particular curve is Y equals 0 .000138 times X squared plus negative 0 .042 times X plus 140.46. Taking this equation, we can also try an example and what we'll use as an example is actually a way to verify that our equation is working correctly. So we can do that by checking with the PVT because we can understand its elevation both geometrically and with the parabolic equation so that's what allows us to verify that our equation is correct. So using our parabolic equation y equals 0 .000138 times 260 squared plus a negative 0 0.042 times 260 plus 140.46 gives us an elevation at this point of 260 meters from the PVC of 138.9 meters. And this is again the PVT elevation. We can also check this with ge geometry. So the PVT elevation is the PVI elevation plus G2 times half the length. This equals 135 plus 0 0.03 times 130, which also gives us an elevation of 138.9 for the PVT. So this allows us to check our equation and confirm that it is working correctly. We can use any other value for X to find the elevation at any point along the curve from the PVC to the PVT starting with an x of 0 and going up to a maximum x of 260 meters. This equation cannot be used for anything other than that range. The range has to be between 0 and 260 meters. Anything outside that range, you cannot use this equation to calculate. 